Hi, welcome. I am Professor S. N. Narendra from College of Agriculture, Sony, and we are going to see the pollination syndromes. The pollination syndrome. Federico del Pino, the Italian botanist, defined the classical pollination syndromes in 19th century. Pollination syndromes are the suites of flower traits that have evolved in response to natural selection imposed by different pollen vectors, which can be abiotic by wind and water or biotic such as birds, bees, flies and so forth. These traits include flower shape, size, color, odor, reward type and amount, nectar composition, timing of flowering, etc. For example, tubular red flowers with copious nectar often attract the birds. Foul smelling flowers attract carrion flies or beetles, etc. Plant pollinator interactions can be understood through pollination syndromes. Pollination syndromes, their types, the abiotic pollination syndromes and biotic pollination syndromes. The abiotic pollination syndromes, there are the plants which do not attract animal pollinators. In biotic pollination syndromes, these plants have special traits to attract different types of biotic factors for pollination. The biotic pollination syndromes, we have the wind pollination called as anemophily, water pollination called as hydrophily. In biotic pollination syndromes, bee pollination called as melitophily or hymenopterophily. The ant pollination is myrmecophily. Butterfly pollination, psychophily. Moth pollination called as phalaenophily. Fly pollination called as myophily and sapromyophily. Bird pollination called as ornithophily. Beetle pollination called as cantherophily. Bat pollination called as chiroterophily. The collective name for the pollination done by insects is entomophily and that done by the animals is called as zoophily. So this was all about pollination syndromes. Thank you.